You want to be a legend in your own kitchen? How about with chocolate sauce for ice cream? And not just the kind that goes on top and it's nice and smooth and it's kind of droopy all over the place. How about the kind when you go to an ice cream shop and you get the soft serve ice cream and they dip it in the chocolate and it gets all crunchy? How about that nice crunchy coated ice cream sauce topping for you in your own kitchen? It's so unbelievable. And it's got two ingredients. Look at this. It's got chocolate and it's got butter. I'm using chocolate chips here. In this case, it's six ounces of chocolate and a stick of butter. Now, rather than just drop the whole stick in, it's faster if you just chop it up first and it'll just melt that much faster. The next thing is, I'm gonna put this in a double boiler. What's a double boiler? Just like what it sounds. Rather than putting this right on the heat, because if I put this right on the heat in a pan, uh, it's gonna burn the chocolate, it's gonna scorch it, it's not gonna work out. So what you wanna do is gently do it. You wanna put it uh, on a pan, now you use a stainless steel bowl and don't use a glass bowl because it might break. Use it and then just put it over warm water. It doesn't have to be a real rolling boil, just warm water. And now you step back. That might take five minutes, it might take 10 minutes. It's going to take total of maybe 20 minutes. There's, that's all the work we've done is done. Now we just sit back and watch. So now the next step is this looks like it might be ready. It's getting really close. Let's see what's going on. It's been about 10 minutes. Just want to start stirring everything together. Is it warm enough to melt the butter? I think we're close. You know something? I'm going to switch to a whisk. Look at that. It's done. Now, here's the next step. We wait again. Because what we want is for the temperature to come down to about 86 degrees. And if you don't have a thermometer, I'm going to show you how to tell the difference in a second. Well, in about 10 minutes, we're going to let it sit. But it's all nice and smooth. Because if we were to take this hot sauce now and put it on the ice cream, all we'll do is melt the ice cream. So we want to cool it down a bit. So it'll be warm enough, yet a bit cooled, to harden on top of the ice cream and not melt it. And it's ice cream time. Now, the sauce has cooled down. It's best if you have a thermometer to check to see how it's doing. Uh, and this is about 85 degrees. It's really cooled down a lot. What if you don't have a thermometer? Well, there are two ways. One, you could put your finger in and taste it. And it's, but it's going to be kind of a little more than room temperature-ish. But if you've let it go too long, it'll firm up a bit. So you just warm it up a bit, just a little, just to give it a little body. But this is nice and cool. See how nice and pourable that is. So now, the ice cream. And it's time for my favorite unpaid endorsement, Maple Valley ice cream. I'm going with the uh, French vanilla. They've got a great seasonal eggnog too. But I love this stuff so much. It's the best ice cream around. If you're anywhere near Western Massachusetts, you got to get some. And if you're not, it's worth a drive, even if you're coming from San Francisco. Best ice cream ever. So you want your ice cream to be cold, really cold. Don't let it sit around because a couple things are going to happen. One is you want the really cold ice cream touching up against the sauce which is barely warm because if the ice cream is too soft it's not going to react well and you're not going to get the hardening of the ice cream so now you're not going to get the hardening of the sauce so now just a nice little layer on there now if you have a cone you want to dip it in that'll work but if you just put on a a little bit of a coating you don't want to make it too thick Go around there, give it a moment. And what's gonna happen is, it's also, it's gonna stay nice and shiny. Cause that's from the butter in there. And give it a moment, how's it doing there? Oh, it's still a little soft, give it just a sec. It's gonna take a moment. And... I don't know if you can hear that. I'm going to get close. It's got a nice little thump to it. This is crunchy. I'm going to prove it right now. There's a nice crunch on top of that. The longer you let it sit, the crunchier it's going to get. This is what it is. The perfect, perfect crunchy chocolate ice cream topping for your favorite ice cream. You're going to want to make it just two ingredients and it doesn't take much time. And if you like this video, please hit like, and even better, we'd love it if you were to hit subscribe.